All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing well today on this, what is it? It's a, it's a Tuesday, a summer Tuesday uh, morning in uh, Washington. But um, yeah, we've been pumping out the videos. Ryan and I have definitely been, you know, making the most of this summer. It's uh, nice to have a little bit more free time on our hands, making some videos. I enjoy doing that. Hope you guys are enjoying what we're doing right now. Today's gonna be day four of the new workout split. I'll link that video up top. Today will be the total back day. Nice little workout today. Again, my focus is I'm trying to grow my back, trying to improve on that. So we got a, a fire back day today. I'm excited to bring it to you guys. Before the workout, um, lately on this cut, I don't like eating, I don't have too many calories to work with. So the problem is how am I gonna get enough, enough energy before my lift? So what I've been doing, about an hour ago I had a bigger meal and I'm actually tomorrow, without Ryan, gonna do a full day of eating for you guys on my cutting diet to show you guys what I'm doing. A little bit more of a vlog video, that'll be cool. But I'm just having two rice cakes real quick before we head over to the gym, just cause I want some quick carbs in my system. So I got these two cakes right here. Um, and then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up some pre-workout as well. Got about a 20 minute drive. I like when you have about a 20 minute drive to let your pre-kick in. I used to take it right at the beginning of the like workout but you want your pre to be hitting so we're still working with the pina colada pride now in the coming weeks we also have uh we have green apple and we have fantasy soda which is ehp's like kick on their fanta which is fire too so probably gonna finish these first because we are in the summer and i don't know when the next one's coming in but um yeah we're gonna mix this up and then on the cut, you guys probably know the deal. During my workouts, I sip on the Beyond BCAAs just to help me kind of fuel my muscles, help with that recovery. So uh, that's kind of our stack for today. Um, what do I know though? We got a good back workout in session this morning. Enjoying the morning lifts lately. So uh, let's get after it. Raspberry pina colada, bro, you gotta try this. This is uh, phenomenal. Tastes great, gets me energized, gets me locked in. But um, yeah, before we go to the gym, before we have a great sesh, I'm gonna encourage you guys, obviously, if you guys wanna tell me in the comments, my videos suck, go ahead, I don't really care. Um, I appreciate any support, any feedback whatsoever. But if you guys do enjoy the videos, consider dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, and dropping a comment down below. Helps us grow. Um, we're having Ryan out here. We don't want Ryan to be on the streets, you know. It costs money to help have Ryan help us film. So, uh, yeah, I kind of just wanted to say that. Again, I appreciate you guys for watching so much. Channel is growing. The views are coming in. Um, a lot of you guys are tuning in for the videos, which is awesome. That stuff is not changing anytime soon. So, if you guys enjoy the videos, whatever, um, consider dropping a like, commenting, subscribing. We got to work out the catch. So, uh, let's get after it. like starting my back days with some pull-ups I usually start all my workouts with some sort of we'll say pump exercise or a bodyweight exercise like push-ups uh, lunges just to get some blood wherever we're trying to work got a good back session today but want to get everything loose feeling good kind of establish a little bit of a mind and muscle connection so when we do our heavier stuff it's gonna feel better right so can't be pull-ups so stable exercise but feels good bro
wanted to give you guys a quick tip on the last one. So I always had a really tough time feeling that low cable row. What I did though is I kind of thought of it as pulling my elbows back, number one, but kind of flowing with it, you know, not staying so rigid, flowing a little bit, retracting the lats back. And that movement right there, as well as maybe incorporating it a little bit earlier in my workout, helped me feel it, really helped make a difference. So if you're like me, back's always been a really tough thing to grow. Always, you know, didn't like back training as much because I couldn't feel it. But once you feel it, once you kind of learn the basics, it's, it's probably the best day because back's a big muscle, feels great, right? So, man, like you see all these people, it's like, you think they got like an edge and I think they work hard, but you gotta just find what works for you and that's what works for me, might work for you too. Give it a go. deadlifts and probably like Alex why are we doing them now I like doing them a little bit later because I'm really just focusing on getting a full kind of back range of motion nice like stretch and squeeze um, you can do them at the beginning but then I feel like you're so tired so I do them at the end I'm not trying to you know become the strongest person I'm just trying to look good build those weaknesses and for me having a back that is pretty good width but not as good thickness it's a great exercise so we're gonna start up probably work up to about 315 six to eight reps and just uh, feel it out not trying to move as much weight trying to just feel it out Good connection, good squeeze, so. through deadlifts since since I was a, a youngin in the gym like 15 bro it's tough bro but I, I, I believe so much in doing you know tough stuff every day Especially deadlifts towards the end of your workout, you know, I, there's a structure to it, but just mentally, it's really hard. But now that it's done, I feel pretty good. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm almost letting it pull me away. So, down, you know, I'm, I'm flat handing, or I guess palms facing down, pushing it in. Right here is that squeeze. And then up, I'm resisting, but I'm letting it pull me. So, kind of working on a weighted stretch, right?
up on the workout today. Nothing too crazy, you know, focusing on those simple basic exercises, but really working hard with each of those. I feel like that's mostly what you need in the gym. That'll get you 95% of the way there, just consistency with those. You can, you know, supplement with other stuff too. That's on top of that, but I mean, it's beautiful. Beautiful weather out here in Washington. Um, got a few weeks left here before we head back for the summer. Got some crazy stuff coming, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, I appreciate dropping a like, comment, subscribing. It helps the channel grow. Helps us kind of, you know, allow us to do different things. What do I know though? I'm Alex. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one.